and it comes as more students in our area test positive for COVID. This latest outbreak is happening at Herndon High School in Fairfax County. Uh, yeah, and parents telling us the whole football team had wow. to quarantine last week. The whole team. Our Jess Arnold has been speaking with some of those families. She is live for us outside of the high school. And Jess, what are these families saying? Yeah, well, their biggest concern is actually the fact that there is no virtual learning option for those players that are stuck at home. Like they can't watch their teacher's instruction, their lecture. They just have the assignments that are posted online. We all knew that the COVID cases would happen and that some kind of quarantine would have inevitably happen, but there was no process in place to handle it. And the worst part is the lack of access to any of their classes. So for the entire time that all 60 plus kids were at home, there's no classes. Emity has a high school senior on the team. Now she and other parents got emails Monday while the kids were at school that there was a case on the team and they had to quarantine. Then it's been a waiting game as the health department contact traces and throughout that her son wasn't able to have instruction. FCPS acknowledged that that's not ideal and said they're working on adding classroom streaming for students who have to quarantine and should actually have that info soon. So that's some good news for FCPS families. Also good news for Amy Emity. Her son was cleared to go back to school today, so he was in fact in the high school you see behind us today. But also today we saw that the athletics department had posted that the big game against South Lakes that's supposed to happen on Friday is now postponed. Coming up on the Q&A at 7, you're going to hear from a family whose player is still in quarantine. I'll send it back to you. All right, Jess, thank you. We'll all be watching that very closely. Yeah. All right, so.